video, we're going to take a look at some affordable places to live in southern New Hampshire. Now, I'm not going to go off a specific list, but more so just areas that I'm familiar with throughout the state that might be a good option if you're looking for a more affordable place within the heart of southern New Hampshire. Now, if you're not familiar with my previous videos, generally you can classify southern New Hampshire as any area south of Concord. Now, considering how much home prices have gone up over the past few years, and here in New Hampshire specifically, considering the median home price is nearly $450,000 in the state, it might be a bit discouraging if you're thinking about moving to the Granite State. Now, I have the map pulled up here, and as you can see, Manchester right in the center, which is really in the heart of southern New Hampshire. And if we look over to the western region of the state here, just to the west of Manchester, you'll see some of these areas that border the city, like Goffstown, New Boston, you even have Ware, Dunbarton. Now all these areas are really, really nice and they offer a good amount of privacy, more of a rural environment, but they're still relatively affordable. Although if we want to highlight areas that are even more affordable, then we're going to want to go a little bit more on the outskirts. Now we don't necessarily have to go all the way out to areas like Keene or even like Peterborough, but right over here as we get closer to the Massachusetts border, this is one area in particular that I feel is somewhat undervalued. Now you do have to exclude Brookline and Hollis, which are right here just west of Nashua, both of which have a great school district, but home prices in that area are relatively high. Now just past that to the west here, you'll see these areas such as Mason, Greenville, New Ipswich, Ringe, even Jaffrey. These are all the areas, these small towns over here, where you can still find really affordable real estate. Now what I'm going to do is hop over to the MLS and we're going to pull up some active listings in these particular towns so you can see what properties look like and what they're priced at. Now for this video I'm going to stick with single family homes here. Alright so as you can see for Ringe here there's currently 12 active listings. So let's search and see what we can find here. Now you can see the lowest price listing at the moment is $224,900 and if we scroll down to the bottom the highest price listing right now is $889,000. So you can still find relatively large homes in these areas, but they also offer more of a selection for buyers that might be in a lower price point. So since this video is highlighting more affordable real estate, we're gonna try to stay under 350,000. Now if we look here, we could see this one listed at 349,000. It's a three bed, two bath, built in 1930, and it sits on just over two acres of land. All right, so let's take a look at a few of the pictures right now. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape overall. It looks like maybe it's been remodeled. Now, without diving into the specific details of this property, like the age of the roof, the heating system, all of those type of things, just from first glance, it looks pretty nice for that price. Now, a property like this further east towards Manchester would be significantly more expensive. So let's pull up this one here for just under 225000 You can see it's a much older home built in 1839, but it does offer three beds and one bath. Now that might not be the most desirable configuration for a house, seeing as most buyers generally want three beds, two baths, or even a four bed, three bath, but you have to give a little bit when you get into this price point. Now one thing I do want to point out here is you can see that the square footage is 1225 now just below it, you see them saying a total square footage of 1,855. Now what that means is the bottom number is taken into account anything below grade, like a basement. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at properties online. Maybe it's a house that doesn't have a ton of square footage upstairs, but if it does have an unfinished basement, that's something you could finish down the road and that's gonna add a lot of extra space. Especially if it's a home that has a walkout basement opposed to a bulkhead. Therefore, you would actually have a door entering the basement, and most of the time when you see that set up in a basement, it'll also have full-size windows. Now you can see this property sits on a quarter acre, which is still not bad. When you look at properties across the state, that's pretty standard. All right, so we're gonna pull up another town right in this same area. And as you can see, New Ipswich has a total of 13 active listings at the moment, with the cheapest one being 308,000, all the way up to 1.3 million. Now let's take a look at this one here for 330000 From first glance, this looks like a really nice property. You can see it's a ranch built in 1960, and it features three bedrooms and two baths. And despite being a ranch, it has almost 1,800 square feet with a total square footage of over 3,500. You can see it sits on a one-acre lot. And if we look over here, you can also see the property taxes, which aren't too bad. 
Now we'll go through a couple of the pictures and this property looks really nice, especially at this price point. Now a property like this, even though it's in a more remote location, it's likely gonna draw in a lot of buyer interest. And I just took a quick look at the showing schedule and I could see right away that there's quite a bit of showing set up in the coming days. All right, so now we're gonna make our way east to some of the towns in between Manchester and the seacoast. So if we scroll over here on the map, you're gonna see all of this region right here. Now Manchester is just over here. You've got Auburn on the eastern outskirts. And although I really like Auburn, it's not the most affordable place to live. But fortunately, some of these areas just past it are actually relatively affordable. Now, if you get too far towards the coast, some of these areas like Stratham, Exeter, and then you get into Northampton, Rye, those tend to be very expensive. The areas in particular that I would keep on my radar if I was looking for affordable real estate that was a little bit closer to the coast would be areas like Candia, Raymond, Chester, Epping, and even some of these areas right over here like Newmarket, Lee, Nottingham, Deerfield, you can still find relatively affordable properties in some of these areas as well. All right, so the first one we're gonna pull up is Raymond. Now the only downside to some of these smaller towns is that there can be a lack of active inventory, especially right now with the fact that there's not as many listings as there usually is at this time of the year, which is understandable considering a lot of homeowners have very low interest rates currently locked in. Now, as you can see, there's currently two active listings in Raymond. Now they're slightly above the price point that we wanted to stay at, but we'll take a look at this one here for just under $410,000. Now the first thing I notice right away is that it's set back from the road quite a bit. And you can see here that it sits on two acres. And once again, we have another ranch. And as you can see here, this one's a little bit newer, built in 1986. And although it's a ranch, it's still almost 2,000 square feet. Now let's look through a couple of these photos here. And as you can see, it's got a really private backyard, all tree lined. And the inside appears to be in pretty good shape as well. Even though there's a little bit of carpet throughout, that's something that's pretty easy to change out. Once again, if we look at the property taxes, you can see they aren't too bad considering its proximity to some of the major cities. All right, so next we're gonna pull up Epping and see what we can find over here. Now there's currently nine active listings. Now, as you can see from the listings here, there's none that are gonna be within the price point that we wanna stay within considering the cheapest one currently is 546,900. Now Epping has a lot of new construction, specifically 55 plus communities, as you can see here, which include a community clubhouse with a gym, heated saltwater pool, a pickleball court, and a fire pit. Now this particular community comes with a monthly HOA fee of $264. And as you can see here, landscaping, plowing, and trash are all included in that fee. Now, one thing I wanted to point out about some of these areas that are a bit closer to the coast is the fact that regardless of where they're located within this region, they're going to be more expensive due to their proximity from the ocean. So keep that in mind when you're comparing houses in this region versus houses in this area to the west of Manchester. Now, another area you could add to your list is some of the towns just between Manchester and Concord. A place like Hooksit or even Bow are very nice, but they tend to have a higher price tag. Whereas some of the smaller towns like Suncook, Allenstown, or Pembroke can be a little bit more affordable. And as you can see, there's currently four active listings in Pembroke. And if you look here, the lowest price one is currently $325,000. So we'll take a look at that one. And you can see it was built in 1955. It has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's almost 1,800 square feet. And if you look at the total square footage, it's nearly 2,500 square feet. Now, despite being between two major cities, this property still sits on over a quarter acre lot. And if we look at some of the pictures here, you can see it's relatively private. Although if we look in this picture here, you can see that there is a property just to the right hand side. So if you're looking for something that's really private and you don't want to see your neighbors at all, then I would recommend looking west of Manchester where we started the video. Now, the final area I wanted to cover in this video is just north of Concord. So if you can see here, you have the lakes region, which is right up here, where you have Lake Winnipesaukee, Newfound Lake, and then you have Lake Sunapee over here. Now, once you get close to the bodies of water, the price of real estate goes up significantly. But some of these towns between Concord and the lakes region tend to be a little bit more affordable. Places like Bosquin, Franklin, Andover, even Warner or Bradford. Now you can see there's currently seven active listings in Bosquin. And although the lowest price listing is a bit out of our price range, we'll still take a look at it. 
You can see this is a relatively new home built in 2020 and features three bedrooms and one bath. Now with almost 1300 total finished square footage and over 2500 total square feet, this property does offer quite a bit considering it sits on over a 10 acre lot. And as we can see looking at a few of the pictures here, it's very, very private. Now one thing to keep in mind is that these photos are taken during the winter time so you won't have as much tree coverage, especially on the sides of the property here. Whereas during the summer months when the trees fill out, you will have a bit more privacy. Although I can see there's a property directly to the left here, which doesn't offer too much privacy from side to side. Now one thing to point out when you're looking at properties with a lot of land like this one, is the fact that sometimes the land isn't very usable. And what I mean by that is if you're looking at a property with 10 acres for instance, and most of it is covered by trees, it's gonna make it pretty tough for you to utilize that land. Unless you plan on making trails to the woods for snowmobiling or riding dirt bikes and four wheelers, most people would be better off looking for a property that maybe has one to two acres, but doesn't have as thick of forest, therefore you can utilize the property. I've seen plenty of really nice houses that only have one acre that are covered by trees on all sides, but most of the actual property is covered in grass. Now next we're gonna jump over to Franklin, which is right in the same area, and you can see there's currently six active listings. So we'll take a look at this one here, listed for 319,900. Now you can see this is a manufactured home in a 55 plus community, so that'll limit the amount of potential buyers. Although it's relatively new, built in 2016, and it does have three bedrooms and two bathrooms with just over 1,600 square feet. Quickly looking at some of the photos, it appears to be in pretty good shape, but one thing to keep in mind with properties like this is resale value. The fact that it's a mobile home will definitely limit the amount of buyers that are potentially interested in your home if you do end up selling it down the road. In addition to the fact that this is also located in a 55 plus community, which narrows down that buyer pool even more. The last place we're going to take a look at is Loudoun. And as you can see here, there's currently four active listings. As you can see, the lowest price listing is currently $399,000 all the way up to $1.2 million. Now if we take a look at the first one here, you can see that it's an older home built in 1870. More of a farmhouse style with three bedrooms and two bathrooms with nearly 2,500 square feet. And as we've seen with a lot of these properties, this sits on a relatively large lot of one acre. And if you also take a look at the property taxes, you can see they're actually relatively low considering the list price. Now, although this is a really beautiful looking house, you might run into some issues with financing considering the property's age. So that's when we really would need to look into the details like the age of the roof, the heating system, especially when you're getting into something built in the 1800s. And now you can see it looks like there's some type of body of water directly behind the property, which brings flood insurance into the equation. So we're going to jump back and just take a look at the other listing here in Loudoun that was also listed at 399000 You can see this one's a bit newer, built in 1963, and has three bedrooms and one bathroom with almost 1,500 square feet. Now this lot's a little bit bigger as it's just over an acre, and you can see the property taxes are still relatively affordable. Now if we look at some of the pictures, from first glance it looks like a relatively private lot. But that's why you've really got to look at all of the photos because once you start doing that and you're zooming in, you can see that there's actually a property right in the back here or just to the side. Now that might not be a deal breaker, but some people like to have trees surrounding their property on all sides to make it relatively private. Now I could continue going on and on with different towns throughout the state, but I want to end it here. Because in reality, there are more affordable places to live throughout New Hampshire, you just have to look in some of these areas that might not be as desirable. But as a whole, if you were looking for the most affordable real estate in the state, but you still wanted close proximity to an area like Massachusetts or some of these larger cities like Manchester or Concord, I would highly recommend looking in the western region over here. Now you don't necessarily have to go all the way over towards the Vermont border, but if you keep your search east of Keene, you can find a lot of hidden gems within this particular area. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.